Hello and welcome. Before I begin, please note that this video has minor in-game spoilers. As you may already know, Breath of the Wild has a handful of rare horses that you can obtain through side quests, amiibo, and out on your own adventure. In this video, I'll be showing you all five of these rare horses and where to find them. The first horse I recommend getting is Epona, that is, if you have the Super Smash Bros. Link amiibo. It's very unfortunate that Epona can only be obtained through the means of purchasing an amiibo, and I for one don't agree with this sort of paywall to get the iconic steed. However, if you do happen to have the Super Smash Link amiibo, you're in luck, as she will likely spawn the very first time you scan it in. Epona is very well balanced, having 4 stats in strength, speed, and stamina. She has a gentle temperament and a completely maxed out bond to Link, which makes for an easy ride. Next up is the Stall Horse. Actually tied to a quest, the Stall Horse can be found in the Hebra Tower region. Head to the Snowfield Stable and talk to this character inside. She will give you the quest Stall Horse Pictured. After grabbing the quest, make your way over to a fire and wait until night. Unless of course it already is night. Once you've done that, go to the north until you find two Skull Outposts. There you'll find Stall Bokoblins riding Stall Horses. Take out your bow and have at it. Return to Snowfield Stable, take a picture of the stall horse, and complete the quest for a silver rupee. Unfortunately, this horse can't be registered at a stable, but it's still fun to ride around. The Royal White Stallion, a descendant of Zelda's white horse. Found near Safula Hill, this stallion can be obtained through a side quest alongside the Royal Saddle and Bridal Set. Starting off at Outskirt Stable in the central tower region of the map, talk to an old man named Tufa. He will give you the quest The Royal White Stallion. Follow the road shown on the map towards Safula Hill. Once you make it up to the top of the hill, make sure to have some type of stealth bonus added, whether that be through the means of food or the stealth armor as this horse is very vigilant and spooks easily. After fully taming the White Stallion, head back to Outskirt Stable, register it, and talk to Tufa. He will then give you the Royal Bridle and Saddle Set. The White Stallion is a nice horse to have. It has 4 stars in strength, 3 in speed, and a fully stacked stamina stat. But watch out, this one is wild. Number 4 is my personal favorite, the Giant Horse. This majestic animal can be found in the Lake Tower region, specifically in the Tobeb grassland. Before you go running off to find the giant horse, take a moment to stop by the mounted archery camp and talk to Straya to get the quest Hunt for the Giant Horse. I recommend picking up an extra stamina wheel on top of the two you already have, just to give you some headroom. Grab a horse and head down the pass shown on the map. Watch out for two very strong Lynels on the way to the grassland. I recommend taking them out on your way if you can so you don't have to deal with them when coming back with the giant horse. Now that you've made it to the grassland, find the giant horse and tame it. Do be careful as this horse is very slow and it replaces its stamina for its maxed out strength stat and has a wild temperament as well so don't be surprised if you get bucked off. Make your way back to the mounted archery camp, turn the quest in and you'll receive a silver rupee. If you're looking for a stable close to the mounted archery camp, head to the Highland Stable. The last horse on the list is the elusive Lord of the Mountain. I've made a previous video detailing how to obtain this horse, but I'll go over it once more. Just a warning, this horse doesn't spawn every day, so you may have to wait for a while. Starting off from the Ridgeland Tower, sit and wait in front of Satori Mountain until you see a blue glow coming off the top of it. Either teleport to Mog Lawton Shrine, or make your way on foot to the top of Satori Mountain. At the top, using a stealth bonus, sneak behind the cherry blossom tree and towards the horse. Again, be sure to have at least two full bars of stamina. Make sure not to spook the Lord, as it will disappear. You will however have a couple chances before it vanishes for the full day. 
After mounting the Lord of the Mountain, you can ride around and enjoy its maxed out stats, but that's about it. Unfortunately, just like the stall horse, you can't register the Lord of the Mountain at a stable. I guess it is sort of fitting though, as this horse is said to be a holy creature. Legend has it that the Lord is a reincarnation of a sage that died on the lands it now protects. That just about wraps it up for today's video. Please let me know how you felt about the video down in the comment section below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all on tomorrow's video. Peace out.